Hello everyone, Leslie here from Message in a Fold. Today I have a subscriber question. This video will be about the original Sizzix machine. So here goes the question. This is from Mary Kay Nance. I hope I'm pronouncing your last name correctly. I am really sorry if I've botched it. She says, Hi Leslie, I love watching your videos. They are inspiring. Thank you, Mary Kim. I appreciate that. I appreciate knowing that, that I am helping you. I have a request to see how to use the original Sizzix machine. The big red heavy one your husband bought you. I picked one up at the Goodwill and I don't know how to use it or if you can still buy folders slash dies. I thought I would give this a try before investing in a newer model. Any input would be appreciated. Thank you for inspiring me. Take care, Mary Kim. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate those sweet words. Uh, my husband bought the original Sizzix machine for me way back in about 2004. So I've had mine for 10 or 11 years. Um, and a lot of the big dies that were coming out in about 2006, something, they couldn't be used with the original Sizzix machine, so I had to upgrade to the Big Shot to be able to use those dies. And all of the, t most of the Tim Holtz dies will not work with the original Sizzix machine. Now here's a Tim Holtz alterations die by Sizzix. Alterations. And this one is the old jalopy. And it will not go under there either. It's too wide. Um, if his small ones, the little ones like the, uh, the borders, those will work, but the jalopy and the dress form and uh, the angel wings and a lot of the favorite dies, they will not work with the original Sizzix. You have to have a bigger machine for that. The green, the yellow, and the red dies, and you'll see these. Um, I'll show them to you. The bodies of the dies are what works on the original Sizzix machine. The new dies that are coming out from Sizzix that are gray, that have gray bodies, they will not work. This one will not go in there. It's too wide. It's too wide to fit in the throat. The small dies, spellbinders, yes, they will work with uh, the original Sizzix, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, if you want to try and get some of the other dies that do work with the original Sizzix, you'll need to find them on eBay or send out a message I'm looking for. And maybe somebody who's updating to something else and wants to get rid of their old dies, maybe you can buy them from them. But okay, so letter, 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 letter. All right, we're gonna get into this video. I am trying some new camera angle techniques to kind of make things a little bit more interesting. This is the ori original Sizzix machine. This works with pressure under this head, and it only comes with one cutting pad. Uh, the Big Shot comes with two and a filler thing, but this is just one, that's all. The way that this works is you put the die, I'm going to use this Dresden plate die, You put uh, he 
you need a piece of paper that's going to fit over the face of the die and you lay that down on top of this white thing and it will slide under and you need to get it under the back <clears throat> make sure that it comes through to just under the presser head and then you press all the way down and lift and then move this under and press all the way down and then you finish and then you come back out and then there are your die cut pieces. Alright, the next one that I have, these are these are the smallest dies that Sizzix made. And these are old. These are really, really old. So they're about 15 years. They're older than 15 years because I bought a lot of these from eBay that other people had already had. This one is a dragonfly that looks like that and you do basically the same thing uh, you take your piece of paper and then you put your die on and this one <coughs> let's turn it lengthwise like this because then it'll fit under the entire presser head and I'll only have to press down once And there's the dragonfly. This is the next size up from Sizzix. <clears throat> Sorry. And it's yellow. And again, I don't think you can get these from Sizzix any longer. I think you're going to have to go to eBay to get them. And this is almost the same as the little green dies. This will fit underneath the pressure head. Hey, how about this butterfly one? All right. So I'll, I'll, send, I'll press this three times. One on the outside. One on the inside. And one on this other outer edge. <coughs> Now, maybe it came out. <clears throat> yes. All right. And there is the butterfly die cut. Now, these red dies, this one is called film strip. And that's the die front. And I need a big piece of paper for this. Your paper and your die cannot go over this edge or over this edge. It won't fit under the throat. All right, I'm going to lay my paper down on the thing. And I'm going to lay the die on top of the paper. This one you have to do it three times. The outer edge, the center, and the other outer edge. And there's your film strip and these little pieces that fit inside. You can put photos. Um, 
you can use this. Oh, say for a trip to Disney World or Disneyland or one of the theme parks or something where you have small snapshots of your kids. And again, I do not think that you can get these off of the Sizzix site. I think you have to buy these from eBay. And I have had these for a long time. All right, now you can use these small thin dies with this. You can use these wafer thin dies. These super thin dies. You can use what is known as an embosslet, which cuts and embosses. And you can use the spellbinders that are not bigger than this. I have one set of spellbinder dies. This set um, curved rectangles and this large rectangle is about the maximum size that I can use on this machine. So I'll go through, I'll go through each one of these thin dies and show you how you can use this machine with each of the dies. All right, to use any of these dies, including the Spellbinders dies, you have to have this Sizzix system converter. And this goes underneath, it's magnetic, it goes under your head, it goes under the head of your machine, and then you lift it, and then it connects. Put your paper down and you put your thin die down and slide it under the head. Okay, that needs. Oh, all right, uh, well, that worked good. All right, for the wafer thin die, since it is so much thinner than what this is, then you're going to need to have a shim. I think what I'll do is put this stuff on top so I can see. What I'm doing. Okay. All right. I need to get that under the presser head. All right, I, that's going to probably be too much. Yes, I'm having difficulty pressing that down. This is how you know when you have enough of a sandwich. All right, that cut that. With the wafer thin die. And there is the cutout. And this is supposed to be a hinge. So there's a couple of little dotted lines, one on each side, and these holes are supposed to be like screw holes. So this would be a hinge. When you don't have enough of a sandwich, if this is too thin, when you put it under the head, it just goes down and there's and there's a lot of room and that should not happen it should stay under there and not move so that's why you need to figure out your shimming for this die this is uh, I think some kind of a, a label or a tag with this one you just put your die on the paper and slide it under 
and then press. And it will be hard to push this lever down with these. And then there is your tag. with the fold. So you could use something like this. You'd have to reinforce this where it folds. It's a perforated, if you look at this, it's a perforated cut. So a lot of, if you put photos on the top and on the back and you use this as a waterfall thing, um, after a while this is going to weaken and come apart. So. Uh, you might want to use some something like from a FedEx bag or a, or a U.S. mail plastic bag to reinforce this. All right, so that's those. Now for where is it? I've now I've got everything hidden. All right, where's that embosslet? What did I do with that? Oh, yes, there it is. It's hiding. Okay. What you do with this one is you put your you put your paper inside this little clamshell design. Put your paper in there and then put it on the platen deal. And this one will have to I'll have to go through twice because it's sticking out from the head here. One and two. All right, now this has cut it and it has embossed it, and this says thanks. So that's what's embossed, embossed on there. If I were going to use this, I'd have to ink that up so that someone would know that it says something. All right, so that's them. To get the spellbinders to work on this, what you have to do is you with the cutting side this side is the cutting side you're going to turn it upside down so you have this flat and tape it onto a piece of paper because there's going to be some moving around and whatever and and it's going to be crazy. So now turn your paper upside down so that the flat the flat part of the die is lying on this this cutting piece like that. And oh, first shims. You got to find got to get your shims. So I'm using this piece of uh, chipboard. Okay, now that die and then you're going to need one of the silicone spellbinders cutting mats. But you push down hard. And then slide it through and push a second time. And I think I've got the hole. I'll go one more. All right, so now this didn't cut all the way through, but you see the embossed edge. So now what you do is you turn this so that the flat side is facing up and 
and and and then now you put your sandwich the piece of chipboard and I have a piece of cardboard I'm going to run that through I maybe ought to cut this chipboard down a little bit okay So I think that cut it out now. And there you go. Okay, this is a piece of paper from... Uh, oh, I'm not sure what it is. It's one of my scraps. Okay, now you take your... This is the... This is the large Spellbinders die. Whatever side you want the... Uh, imp embossed side on put it lay it down and you're going to need a piece of tape you're going to need four pieces of tape I'll just put it on the edge don't put it don't put it inside the cutting area just on the outer edge of the die itself And we're going to turn this die side down and get it so that it fits on this this cutting platform because the die itself is almost as big as yeah it's hanging off there okay there in there. Take a peek underneath the paper to see where the placement is. Okay, and then the next thing is the silicone mat. And then my piece of chipboard. Okay, so now let's move this under. And you might hear some popping and snapping and that's that's the paper cutting all right oh That's, yep, that's the end. Okay. So now take your sandwich apart. And then when you take a look at it, then you see, you see the embossed area of the die, but it's not cut. So now you turn this over. And then you'll need your sandwich, the chipboard, and this isn't quite long enough, but it'll work. I can always pull it back. It's just, it's just I need pressure. Okay, so I'm going to slide this through. press it down, move it to the next part, and I think I'll pull this down because I'm not quite sure where the end is. Okay, so
Okay. Well, that partly worked. That's why you tape it on there. Okay, so now we're going to have to do it again. And this. And I'm going to put this silicone mat on top. Just I just need a thickness. So I'm going to try this again. What I want ooh, is for this to just come out evenly right underneath the head there. That's what I'm looking for. So once once I have that there then I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stand up to do this. Okay, one. And this silicone mat's gonna stick. I'm just pulling from the back side. <clears throat> All right, now let's see if that works. got almost all of it. Crazy, crazy. So. This back under the head and I only have to squish it once. Okay, I think that finally did it. There, it's finally out. Yay! And then you can just barely see the embossed area. All right, embossing folders are next. And I have quite a few of them. I have the cuddle bug, of several cuddle bugs, and I have uh, Sizzix. And I have some Stampin' Up! ones. So I'm going to show you how you can use these with the original, the original Sizzix machine. I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock. Oh, it's kind of vanilla. These are all my scraps. Get that under there. And just press it down. All right, so there. Is the res so there are the results from an embossing lots of texture. All right, this is a Stampin' Up. Now I'm going to do a Cuddle Bug. This one is some kind of swirlies. So I'll use an, another. Do I have another one of those cut? Let's how big is this one? This one will work. I'll stick that in there. And it's going to be exactly the same. Just feed it under.
and press. And there you go. There's your embossed from the from the cuddle bug. Okay, so what did you think of that video showcasing the old original Sizzix die cutting machine? If you have one in your crafting space, uh, then maybe you can get it out and try using it. Um, just because it's old doesn't mean that it's no longer useful. Look at me! I'm old and I'm still pretty useful. Oh my gosh. Okay, yes. Um, all of the thin dies, you'll have to play with, you'll have to play with the, uh, Mary Kim, you'll need to play with the shimming. You know, the, uh, chipboard, cardboard, whatever. Just play with that for a little while on each one of the pieces that you want to die cut until you get what you want. And um, just remember, if you use the spell binders, you have to put it through twice. First, with the die on its back and the cutting edge up and the silicone plate. Run it through... Um, run it through the original Sizzix and then then go back turn the die and paper over so that the cutting edge is against the plate the cutting plate on the machine and then you'll need to use your shims and whatever to get it to cut um, so as long as the uh, Man, I've already bing, totally forgotten what the name of those the spellbinders. What's going around in my head is shape abilities. Uh, that's all that blah, 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 goes around in there. Well, anyway, the spellbinders. As long as they will fit on the base, the cutting pad base, the white thing, as long as they will fit on there, then you can do anything. I don't know if the longer white cutting board is available anywhere. I doubt that it's on Sizzix site anymore. You might have to go to eBay or whatever to find it. Or who who is that? Craigslist. I don't go there on there, so I don't I don't know what you can find there. Um, but yeah, have fun and take heart you can be creative with the old Sizzix machine all right i hope you've enjoyed this video um hey give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you have not subscribed already please do so and leave a question about a tool or a piece of equipment or something if i can answer your question i will if I can't, I will do my best to find someone that can. Um, so, until next time, this is Leslie from Message in a Fold saying, Now you, go show someone how special they are. Alright, bye!